Hello everyone. In this video we are going to review how to take geometry that you've drawn in Rhino and assign properties to it so that you're ready to simulate using pollination. So the first thing I want to go over is some modeling best practices. So the f you want to make sure that you use layers to your advantage and start modeling everything on the layer that corresponds with pollination. So in the pollination tab, we already know that everything is um, room-based um, and surface-based. So we want to make sure that all the rooms are modeled as closed geometries, uh, sorry, closed poly surfaces. And we want to make sure that they're on the rooms layer. And you can sub um, sub-organize that so that it is rooms by program and this will help you when you're starting to assign um, different uh, loads and programs and HVAC types based on program or schedules. Um, apertures, anything that is a window or a skylight um, should be modeled on its own layer. Doors, building shades, so anything that is um, on the building, louvers, etc. would be on its own layer. Site context, sorry, site context is right here, should be on its own layer. And then we have a layer here called orphan shades, but th th that's just other context outside of your building. So these are um, modeled um, abstract trees. Um, and then if you have varying versions, so I have two geometries here where I show the attic space um, being occupied um, as part of the rooms on the second level or you can have a separate geometry that models the attic as an unoccupied space and then the rooms are single story. Okay, so we're gonna continue with the individual rooms. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna add rooms in pollination. So let's go to our pollination panel. And there's two ways you can do that. You can click on new room or you can type in the command line PO underscore add rooms. Okay. Once you do that, there are a couple of options in the command line. So I'm going to leave the property settings and skip existing rooms as default because the skip existing room allows you to add rooms without um, double dipping. So if you've already added a room and you selected that geometry again, this option will make sure that you don't select it again. We are going to modify the max roof angle for this example here because we have a roof pitch that's 45 degrees and it will not be recognized as a roof surface when we add the room if we don't change that max angle. So I'm going to go ahead and change that angle to 45 and then I'm going to go back to my layers and I'm going to select all my rooms and I'm going to select sublayer objects. So that should have selected all the rooms. Yep. It got everything. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And come, well, right, let's switch to the pollination tab so we can see what happens. So once I hit enter, all of the rooms were recognized and the roofs are recognized. And you can tell that by um, the colors that are shown. So anything in red is a roof surface. Anything in yellow would be a wall surface. And... Oh, it looks like it did not do it on this side. We might have a slight angle change where one is greater than the other. So one side might be 45. So let's make a change. The way you would do that is you have to remove the honeybee properties first. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to type in PO underscore remove HB properties. So I did it for that. Let's do it for the rest of the surfaces. like that. Hit enter. We forgot one more. All right. Oh, one more. So now we're going to select all of these again. And I'm going to turn off my context and my shading so that it's a little bit easier to select everything. I'll turn my apertures off too. Okay. So I'm going to add rooms again. So type in add rooms. I'm going to select these. And I'm going to say max roof angle 50 and hit enter. Oh, 
looks like there was one item that there's a I might have selected a text dot there you go now we're good so you can see on both sides we now have the roof identified correctly we have the floor identified correctly and if you're a open studio user you'll notice that these colors are very similar to the color schemes used in open studio so that's how you add rooms.